It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. But it's also we got to be worried about safety. And Ben, you spoke to a doctor who has actually seen some damage from an eclipse firsthand. In 2017, which was a partial eclipse here. And yes, Dr. David Rogers at Nationwide Children's Hospital had patients after that eclipse who dealt with vision loss. And now he's stressing the importance of keeping your glasses on. It's a very simple process. Look away, put them on, then look up and enjoy the sun. 15 minutes before totality, you will already feel the temperature drop five degrees or more before a 360 degree sunset unfolds. Look for stunning moments as the last slivers of sunlight pass through the moon's valleys. But right before totality, you're going to see a diamond ring appear, and that's right when the sun slips behind the moon's shadow, and then it'll become dark, as dark as night. You'll be able to see stars and planets in the sky. Then comes the main event. The sun's outer atmosphere, or corona, will reveal wispy prominences shooting into space. The sun's dangerous rays are briefly blocked during seconds to several minutes during totality, but this will change immediately. And that's right when you see the sliver of the sun appear from behind the moon's shadow. That's when you need to grab your eclipse glasses and get those back on again. Dr. David Rogers, chief of ophthalmology at Nationwide Children's Hospital, reminds us that it's absolutely essential to wear approved solar eclipse glasses during the entire partial eclipse to avoid severe and permanent eye damage to the retina caused by a photochemical burn. And those ultraviolet and UV rays enter the eye and they can damage that sensitive retina in the back of the eye. We had a few patients back in 2017 uh, who we saw who unfortunately suffered vision loss. Make sure that you fit them correctly to your face or you're looking at the sun, but never put them on or take them off while you're looking at the sun. And this is good advice also to yeah. go over with your children uh, during the early part of the day. Uh, yeah, exactly. And the part that I uh, found interesting there was to look away, put the glasses on, and then look at the sun. Yeah, very important. And one last thing, when it does go dark, uh, birds will stop singing. If you're in the path of totality, yes. which is only about 150 miles wide, and cows have been known to go back into the barn and call it a night. Wow. They think it's nighttime.